12 player of the week. And on the 3-1, that one misses away. And again, you have Kyle with one on and nobody out. She bangs that one to third. Skaggs has it and makes the out at first. Coleman moves to second. She gets that weak contact. That ball's hit high in the air, shallow left. Going back is shortstop Edwards, and Imani Edwards makes the catch. That one's away, and it gets away from Riley Keith, and Coleman advances to third. Well, no strikes to Lyons. Pops that one high in the air to center field, and Morgan awaits, and the Tulsa center fielder makes the catch. And lost a bear for her. She's 14 and one, but she's the only one to lose a game this year for the Sooners. There's a bouncer to third, and Brito takes care of it. Alyssa Brito, the third baseman. Season. That one chopped toward shortstop. Big hop for Lyons, and just barely gets her at first. Denson has good speed. Out number nine, she was the winning pitcher. That one lined right into the glove of Brito at third base, and that is it for Tulsa. Their team has a hit. And there's a liner back to the mound, and Kylie Nash catches it. And it, off the bat, that looked like it was hit really solid. Oh. See if Hansen gets the green light, and that one is dipping down low on the drop ball. So Hansen gets the walk. That one hit high in the air down the right field line. Long run for Kennedy Kramer, and Kennedy Kramer catches up to it, makes the grab. 0-1, that one lined to center field, but caught by Jones, the second baseman. So another ball kind of just off the end of the bat. That one lined right to the shortstop. And Tulsa has their leadoff hitter aboard. Now Bearpaw with the bunt. She gets it down, the throw goes to first. And Tulsa has... And a changeup gets her. So Keith waves out, three and two, big pitch. And she gets her with a fastball. So Wood strikes out. That's it for Tull. Leadoff hitter in the third. And a slow roller to the right side, scooped up by Celeste Wood, and Wood gets the out. That pop to deep left field. Back is Denson, has room, and makes the grab. Two outs here in the third inning, and it's T.R.A. That's a very good pitch, and the Tulsa fans are furious that that wasn't called a strike. Last five games hitting 500, and that one's blooped toward the middle of the diamond and through for a base hit. Holding at second base is Jennings, and that was inches away from being a splendid diving catch by Jones. Two balls, one strike. Grounder toward the middle, and a big high hop, and it goes off of the glove of the Tulsa shortstop, and that'll mean a run. All the way in to score is Jennings. It's 1 0 OU. And it took the big high hop. In error, we will see. That would have been an easy touch second and end of inning play. It looked like she was just ready to make that step on second base. Took her eyes off the ball just for a split. Her first time up. That's back up the middle, and that's through for a base hit. Sanders around third. She will score. It's 2 0 Oklahoma lead with their second base hit. Nice approach by Haley Lee at the plate. Went with the pitch. Got it to center field. Two outs. I mean, all these runs comes with two. And unfortunately gave up six runs to the power laden Wichita State team. There's a bouncer to shortstop. And the play at second made by Imani Edwards against the number one team in the nation. That's a third base shot that is nicely fielded by Brito, who makes the play. One down here in the third. I think that's one thing I really enjoy about watching these college softball players at a high level. Really can fine tune a lot of their swings just looking at video and practice off the team to throw as many innings this year. Yeah. Ooh, a change up and she got her. So that is it. Yeah, and that's what Patty said. They really vet the ones coming in because uh, it's tough joining this team when they were playing at such a high level and you want to, don't want to mess up any of the chemistry. That one toward shortstop. Edwards will make the play at first. One down. Organization. That one, I think, hit her. Yep. Looked like it got her on the hand or arm. And uh, we're going to see how she reacts to this, this pitcher. And a couple of home runs in the Kansas series. And hits that one high in the air, but certainly not deep enough as Morgan comes in. Rivers, Michigan. 
That one right back to her. And she gets out of the inning, and that is it for OU in the fourth inning. Doesn't get a whole lot better than that in terms of numbers. That's a bouncer back to the mound. One down. That one blooped down the left field line. Long run, diving attempt, safe. And now trying to go for two is Edwards, and she gets in a pickle. Edwards is out at first base. I lately uh, has really made an impact in this lineup. That ball hit fairly well to center. Drifting on it is Haley Morgan, and Morgan tracks it down right at the warm. Was injured, and then the COVID hit. And she's done really well in her career at TU and doing really well here today as another bouncer to Clara Skaggs. There's a bouncer third base way. Ooh, takes a hard hop, but what a nice reaction by Brito. I think she'd love to see that. And on the changeup, she gets her on the 2 2. Nice job by Nicole May. It's going to just mature her a lot for the game, get used to being a college player. A pop up. Fielded by second baseman Jennings, and that is it for Tulsa. Opportunities to play, and I think that's so important for these young players. And the shot, the shortstop, ends up being an out. That one lined to center field in a base hit. Third base hit of the game for OU. And it's a solid single by Alyssa Brito with one out and one on. That one sliced to left field, trouble, and a base hit. Runners hold the react short game, swing away. What are we doing here? Thought about doing that, and now they've got a little bit of a rundown going between second and third. Abby Jones with the late toss, and Amani Edwards with the tag out. They get Elisa Brito. Erickson moves up to second for OU, so she's at least in scoring position, and that's a base hit. They're going to send Erickson. The throw toward home. Nope, they're going to hold her up. Boy, they look like they might send her. But they hold her up. She had to kind of wait and make sure she didn't get hit by that ground yeah, ball. Yeah, right? that's one of those plays where you, you lost a couple steps there. Morgan got it in. 3-1 pitch. Popped up, right side playable. Jones going out, Kramer coming in, and Jones calls her off, and the second baseman makes a very important catch for the Golden Hurricane. Two balls, two strikes. Important leadoff hitter for Tulsa. And she gets her with a changeup. Jones, no hits. There's a swing and a miss. And that one was that upper 60s fastball. One base hit from Imani Edwards. There's a bouncer to the left side, and that one takes a hop into left field. That one rolled to the right side. Going to be a tough play, safe at first. Denson able to get it. That ball hit high in the air to medium depth center. Coleman awaits, and that's it for the Golden Hurricane. They threaten here in the sixth inning. Her junior and senior year, she did not play. Tulsa did still wanted her, and obviously she's come and had a very good. You know, Patty Gasso says, you know, sometimes there's a little sophomore slump, so you just have to work through it. Tulsa gets the out at first on the sacrifice bump, but that's a good sacrifice bump by Sanders for, all, for any of the teams. 3-0 pitch outside, and so now Nash has walked two. Swing and a miss. She gets her on three pitches. So a big strikeout for Mara Moore. Two down in the seventh. Change up down low, ball four. So three walks in the inning. That ball hit high, deep, and gone. Alyssa Brito with a grand slam home run for OU. It is six nothing Sooners. She got one up in the strike zone and didn't miss it. Three right by Lilio. Uh, That's a change up bounce to the right side. Abby Jones makes the play and that will do it. Three balls, one strike to Clara Skaggs. That one served into left center for a base hit. So Skaggs has a big It's hot. Uh, anything can happen, and I think that's what you want to do is use that East Carolina series to build some momentum. A 2-2 high fastball and bear paw. Golden Hurricane in the seventh, and OU in command at 6 nothing. And that's it for Riley Keith as she chases a high one.
in the 1-0. That ball popped up in the infield, waiting for it as Lions makes the catch. And Oklahoma has won 38 in a row now, and they are 46-1 on the season. They defeat the Golden Hurricane in a truly Oklahoman rivalry, if you will, Oklahoman series. 